The paints I've used up to date um, on my wallets have, have been classed um, sort of multi-purpose really. They're acrylic paints, they're really good for anything from t-shirts, um, leather obviously, um, even uh, even work on motorcycles etc when they've, when they've been cleared afterwards. Um, this Angelus paint is, um, is specifically designed to be used on leather so and it's that good apparently that you can even use it on uh, on shoes so it's 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 hopefully it won't scuff um it's flexible it won't rub off um so it's everything you want really if you if you're working on leather so um i'm going to give this stuff a go um i'll be using it with the brush technique and airbrush i'm not sure how it'll work through the airbrush um i've read the instructions and apparently if you mix it with their uh, acrylic finisher with it which is sort of their um that sort of varnish if you like, if you mix it with a bit of that um, it should airbrush fairly well so but the, the the only videos I've seen so far are people painting um, training shoes and um, that and baseball boots and that kind of thing so I've not really seen anybody use it with an airbrush yet so this will be quite interesting so um, I'm going to be doing a portrait of um, Salvador Dali on a, on a small leather wallet um, and then we'll just see how it uh, see how it pans out this, by the way, is the um, this is the uh, the acrylic finisher. Comes in matte, satin, and gloss. I've gone for the satin. I don't want uh, to, I don't want the surface to be too shiny afterwards. So this is what I'm going to I'm going to use. And apparently, this is what you mix a little bit uh, with the paint uh, for the airbrushing. I probably might dilute a little bit um, with water as well. But uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, this is stage one. Um, basically, I've just used. Um, stencil paper stencil that, I, that I've used to um, I've cut out of a just a black and white inkjet print um, I've diluted the the Angelus uh, white basically with water I just wanted to get a really really thin consistency just so I can sort of ghost over uh, the initial stencil this is my uh, initial layout now now I'm going to go in with the white um, I don't know how I'm going to tackle the white to be honest uh, what I generally do with my acrylics is I like to blend it with a dry brush so I'm probably going to use with this as well my normal stuff which is uh, Liquitex uh, blending medium helps me feather out the edges and gives me a, a good balance with uh, the brushwork and the airbrush so I probably will still use the blending medium but uh, the paint is, is all Angelus so uh, this is stage one stage two now is going to be the brushwork I'll intensify uh, the white, chiseling the details of the white, and then we'll uh, we'll cut in with the white with the with the black. Right, this is the stenciled section, um, sort of enhanced really with a brush and airbrush. Uh, at the moment, I've just mixed it with water. I just want to get a very very light um, underpainting on. Really, to be honest, it doesn't seem to be spraying that much differently to to any of the um, a lot of the airbrush paints I've been using. What I do like about this kind of paint and and other sort of um, I guess what they call it artist paints rather than airbrush paints is that they don't keep going on about no tip dry or anything I mean there's yeah I've got I've had a bit of tip dry on this but it's no it's certainly no worse really than some of the uh, like the airbrush paints that have specifically said there isn't any tip dry so I quite like that I mean I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised at all if um, and just didn't even know what tip dry was you know they've not heard of it so they're not going to market it as no tip dry so uh, so I'm I'm very pleased with the moment it's going really nicely um, now rather than I mean this is this is probably 50 50 brush airbrush um, what I think I'm going to do now perhaps is just on a coat of their satin finisher to seal all that in and then I'll um, It'll it'll save me sort of disturbing the underpainting when I put some more brushwork on it. So perhaps now I'll go in with the black in a minute, and um, and then we'll just build on that. So I'm very pleased with it at the moment. It's great. Right, I'll just describe. Uh, I'll explain what I've done so far. From what you saw last time was the uh, the white underpainting. Um, this is now brushed with the black. Now at times I've mixed the black with the Liquitex blending medium so I can feather out some of the shadows, etc. But primarily, this is um, uh, this this is some, well a lot a lot of it is just the straight black, um, Angelus black. So you can still get some really nice details with a really with a fine brush. I mean, all sorts of hair details I'm getting. I'm I'm really pleased with it. Um, now what I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll put some black uh, in the airbrush. I, I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to mix it with the satin medium 
or rather satin finisher or just water perhaps the satin finisher and I'll feather out and sort of give the face a little bit more roundness with some shadow detail with the um, with the airbrush so um, but I'm really pleased with the way it's going at the moment. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, you can see I'm getting some, even the bags under the eyes, um, eyebrows, etc. Um, getting some great detail with a, with a fine brush. So, um, yeah, very pleased at the moment. What I did, by the way, I've just forgotten to say, just after I did the initial white underpainting, I gave it a very light dusting of the satin finisher to seal everything in so I don't disturb it when I'm brushing over the top of it. I know it's waterproof but sometimes when you're dry brushing etc you can disturb the delicate artwork underneath so I did give it a kind of an intercoat, an intercoat with a satin finisher so uh, next time you see it it should look a little bit better than this. Right this is um, airbrush now from the stage you just previously saw. You can see it sort of added a little bit of um, three dimensional um, shading to it, rounded um, areas off. You couldn't get this with just the paintbrush alone I don't think. Um, now what I need to do now is is perhaps add a little bit more of the dark shadows but then I need to bring some of the highlights back out because you do get it sort of contaminated with a little bit of overspray and you know I do want to really really punch out some of the whites anyway especially in the eyes the eyes are really kind of bulbous eyes you know so they've got to be quite bright bright white also the uh, the highlight in the uh, in the pupils has got to be really brought out as well um, some of the shadowing on the forehead as well, bridge of the nose, underneath the bags and the eyes, it's all got to be punched out with the, with just white. So I'm just going to perhaps go backwards and forwards with the white and maybe the black. Um, now the background, I think I might, um, I really might just brush straight white onto that and really, really bring the face out. I might, I might have, a, I might just have a plain white background to it. So um, I'll just see about that. But uh, for now, I'll just carry on with the, uh, with some of the white. Uh, and maybe with the airbrush, and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, this is the uh, this is the end result. I've been uh, messing around. I've been going backwards and forwards with the black, the white, airbrush, brush, um, all sorts. So I think I'm going to call it a day now. Um, instead of just having a completely stark white background, which is which is um, is extremely difficult to cover, um, especially from black. I've gone for a more sort of a mottled look. I've kind of given it a very very slight sort of glow around the edge of the uh, around the edge of the head, and just a bit of a, a fine sort of light line inside the dark, just to make it stand out a bit more contrast. Um, the paints have, have performed really well. A um, little bit of tip dry when I use the um, the satin finish with the um, mix with the paint, but so what? You know, I mean, I'm not using it for detail really. Most of it's uh, brushwork, to be honest. Um, the paint mixed really well with the uh, the Liquitex blending medium, which I use every time anyway. And um, you know, building it up really slowly like this, I've, I've managed to bring the the eyes out really, really make the eyes pop with the uh, with the white and and the highlights. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, it's come out really nice. Um, what I'm going to do now is put a couple of um, two or three light light, light coats of the um, the satin uh, finisher which will just protect it even the sheen out throughout and um, I think that's about it so uh, so yeah the Angelus paint was it was really good for this kind of thing obviously it's designed for leather so um, you can't go wrong with it really so yeah brilliant